Right now at 6, New Year, New Mall. The Valley View Mall could host new stores in place of the old Macy's location. And La Crosse Hospitals welcome to their first babies of 2024. You're watching WKBT La Crosse. This is News 8 Now at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 6. I'm Ken Kozarowski. And I'm Emily Brown. Well, La Crosse's Valley View Mall could have a new look by the end of 2024. La Crosse's City Plan Commission and the Judiciary and Administration Committee is voting tonight on whether to approve the demolition of the old Macy's. News 8 Now's Allison Fergit joins us now with the latest. Ken and Emily, while some residents are sad about the possibility of the old Macy's being torn down, others think of it as an opportunity for the city. The end of an era. Illinois development group GMX is looking to demolish the old Macy's. I guess it's just kind of sitting there anyway, so you might as well do something with it. Along with the demolition, the mall could see the construction of three new restaurants and a potential car wash. While some community members are excited about the potential change. Well, I think it would be good to have something here instead of it just being an empty, wasted space right now. Well, they should use it if they're not going to use it for Macy's. Others are disappointed. I think that they need to find one uh, something to go in there. I think that they need it to stay put. You know, this mall is failing. I'd like to see another um, larger store come back in, you know. The new restaurants that could open on the site are being described as a coffee shop, an Asian restaurant, and a chicken restaurant. You want the Raising Canes? Yeah. I like chicken, so yeah. A spokesperson for Raising Cane's said the fast food chain plans to open for business in La Crosse in May 2025. Why not turn it into something that people want to go to, to use, and to make better? La Crosse City Council member Aaron Goggin, who represents the Valley View Mall area, says the proposal is an opportunity for the city. It's just a good use of property without disrupting a neighborhood or something else for these same businesses. If the resolution gets final approval from the city, we could see action in the next few months. I think you'll start seeing st some stuff happen in February. So February through April, I think you'll see the demolition start. And for Goggin, the sooner, the better. And it just goes to show that La Crosse is a growing community and businesses want to locate here. And we're happy to have them. The City Plan Commission voted earlier to an earlier tonight to approve that resolution and now the Judiciary and Administ Administration Committee is set to vote on it tonight. That meeting is started at 6. Uh, if all goes well, it then could head to the Common Council for final approval so we could see that vote next week Thursday. Ken and Emily, back to you. All right, Allison Fergit live from Valley View Mall. Thank you, Allison. Well, a lacrosse building that law enforcement referred to as the Meth Motel is coming down. Demolition crews today started scrapping the former America's Best Value Inn on Rose Street near the I-90 ramp. Quick Trip bought the property in fall 2023 and got demolition approval last month. Quick Trip has an active gas station next to the former inn. The gas station chain does not plan to develop the new space until 2025. A lot of developments in the works. Yeah, Meantime, temperatures it. around the freezing mark for the Cooley yeah, region. Yeah, it's getting cold out there. It is. Let's colder get the latest break breakdown from our man Greg Barnhart. If we, it wouldn't feel so cold if we just didn't have the warm December, too, because these temperatures aren't too bad right now. But we do have a lot of cloud cover. Unfortunately, the sun is not going to be out probably until Thursday, maybe a little bit tomorrow. But we are still dealing with it. But overall, temperatures still pretty comfortable around freezing right now. And that's pretty much the observed high. We're just a few degrees above. And that is still above average for this time of year. So once again, we should be in the mid to upper 20s. So it's about 78 degrees. It just felt colder with the cloud cover overhead, kind of with that north that west wind beginning to turn around. There's your current temperatures. We haven't come down too much and really overnight. We're not going to see those temperatures fall too much. We have a cold front that is beginning to push east. We do have a little bit of 
precipitation with that to go along with it, but it won't see that probably until late tonight or early tomorrow, and it's going to be light regardless of when it comes through tomorrow. Otherwise, this evening, just cloud covers really the store with that west wind, 32 degrees. Actually, the temperature's fairly steady over this evening, uh, around 31 degrees for Eau Claire, too, with that west wind and cloud cover. And we do have a little precipitation tomorrow, nothing significant, but could impact maybe some commute uh, um, vehicles driving out there. Something to keep in mind, of. but we do have a bigger storm on the way, and we'll kind of break that down a bit later, including maybe some much colder temperatures by the time we get to this point next week. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you, Greg. Right, thank you. Well, both Gunderson and Mayo Clinic Health System in La Crosse welcomed their first babies of the new year yesterday. At Mayo Health Clinic, Iana was born to Maria and Rogelio at 4.23 a.m. She weighs a healthy 7 pounds and 7 ounces. And over at Gunderson, Noah was born to Jenna and Nick at 12.15 a.m. He weighs 8 pounds and 11 ounces. Nick's parents say they're excited to watch him grow up. We're excited, so yeah. we're ready to get home. Um, get into somewhat of a routine as much mm -hmm. as you can um, and just watch him grow up and that's what we're most excited about. No doubt. So. Start making memories. Iana's parents say they named her after a local religious figure. Especialmente se lo pusimos. We chose the name uh, especially uh, because of uh, a little virgin um, that's found um, in the sanctuary. It's the Virgin of Guadalupe. They add that their first child is excited to be a big brother. Both families have been discharged and are ready to start the next chapter of their lives. Well, congratulations to them. La Crosse's Salvation Army's Red Kettle campaign has officially wrapped up and they would like to extend a big thank you to everyone who supported this year's mission. A few records were set this year. Just in the last week of the campaign, $98,000 was donated, bringing the overall total to over $300,000. That's more than total donations in both 2021 and 2022. Bell ringers and monetary donations made this year's Red Kettle campaign a success. From the Salvation Army, I just want to say thank you. The way the community has come about with their strong support, both financial, volunteer hours, and um, just keeping us relevant here in the community is great. Now, if you didn't get a chance to donate to the Red Kettle campaign, you can still contribute to the overall Christmas campaign for the Salvation Army that ends January 31st. We'll have that info on news8000.com. At least five people are dead after a plane crash in Japan. This as the country is warning of more possible quakes to come. More info after the break. Ashley's New Year's sale is going on now. Right now, shop Hot Buys for every room of your home and shop new collections with 0% interest through January 2029, in-store only. Celebrate and save today, only at Ashley. The robotic money expert. Clever. How do I start a savings habit? Famous cabbage. Savings habit. Shaving rabbits. Tech can make life simpler, but when it comes to savings habits, nothing's as simple as BMO. A BMO savings account helps you build the habit with a cash reward every month you save. Cash reward? Ingenious. Sardine fest. This year's top prize goes to BMO. I'm just in it for the saving. But it's nice to be recognized. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, farm is in our name, so you know we're animal experts, offering the quality pet food, supplies, and advice you need for healthy, happy pets. Right now, get a free $20 gift card when you spend $100 on Hill Science Diet dog or cat food, 40-pound bags of black oil sunflower seed, $21.99, and save on Blaine's antifreeze and coolant, $10.79 a gallon. Plus, order select pet and animal prescriptions online at blainesrx.com. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. To everyone who appreciates a handcrafted meal, are you ready for a taste of Wisconsin? Butterburger's cooked fresh, just the way you like. The way you love. Definitely love. And our thick and creamy frozen custard, we make it for you all throughout the day. All day. All day, every day. Put it in the extra work and not cutting corners. It takes a little longer. But it's how we've always done it at Culver's. Because making your meal with care shows how much we care. From Wisconsin with love. resolution to get better sleep this new year with a new mattress from Ashley with 0% interest through January 2029 on in-store mattress purchases. Get 50% off select Sealy mattresses or 25% off select Ashley sleep mattresses only at Ashley.
At least five people are dead in Japan after a devastating collision involving a Coast Guard aircraft and a passenger plane at Tokyo's Haneda Airport. The Coast Guard aircraft was carrying relief supplies to quake victims in Japan's northwest coast. At least 55 people were killed after the powerful 7.6 magnitude earthquake hit Monday. Natalie Brand reports from Washington. A Japan Airlines A350 burst into flames at Tokyo's Haneda Airport on Monday. The plane had just arrived from northern Japan with 379 passengers and crew on board when it collided with a Japanese Coast Guard aircraft. Video from inside the cabin shows smoke inside. Moments before evacuation chutes deployed and all of the people on board the plane were able to escape to safety. But five members of the Japanese Coast Guard crew who were on their way to provide earthquake relief to people on Japan's northwest coast were killed. A weather service camera recorded the start of the magnitude 7.6 quake that destroyed homes, shook railway stations, and even rattled stones at this ancient shrine Monday. American Daniel Smith was there. It just started very slowly, and, and, and everybody kind of left it off. You know, they thought, ah, oh, this is... Uh, kind of humorous, you know, on New Year's Day. And then it's, then it's just a violent shaking. I mean, violent shaking. With the threat of a tsunami now over, Japan's nuclear authority said its reactors are all fine. But large areas of the Noto Peninsula have been devastated, and mudslides and damaged roads are complicating efforts to find people who may still be trapped under the rubble. Officials are now warning residents to stay away from their homes, with more quakes still possible over the next few days. Natalie Brand, CBS News. Still ahead, you may want to check your freezers. More than 7,000 pounds of ground beef are being recalled in the Midwest for E. coli contamination. And we have a little bit of drizzle or some slight flurries for your drive for Wednesday. I'll break down if any significant precipitation will be in, impacting that, along with the next system that comes next week, which could provide some more snow and wind and cold. All that coming up on your first warm weather update after the break. It's about passion. It's about achievement. It's about hands-on. It's in our history. It's in our present and future. It's time to explore what Chippewa Valley Technical College is all about. Find us online at cvtc.edu and see what's in it for you. Thousands of people are switching to Spectrum Internet. We count on Spectrum Internet and the advanced Wi-Fi to always keep us connected and protected. It's so reliable and fast. Ever since we switched to Spectrum Internet, our daughter's curiosity has a new spark. <laughs> now we're saving a ton. Amazing. Switch to super fast Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds for $49.99 a month with no added taxes or fees, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and no data caps. Call 833-391-4999 or scan to call. Call now. Huga, a calm, comfortable time with people you love. Often enjoyed with a good book, a warm blanket, and a crackling fire. Let La Crosse Fireplace Company help create this feeling in your home. Choose a heat and glow fireplace in gas, wood, or pellet. Stay warm and cozy with a heat and glow fireplace from La Crosse Fireplace Company because your place is by the fire. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. 
Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. You're watching News 8 Now. Expect more. Tensions remain high along one of the world's most vital waterways after Iran announced it was sending a warship to the Red Sea. The ship's mission is not clear and oil prices are becoming more volatile. That follows a decision by global shipping giant Maersk extending a pause on moving cargo through the Red Sea after recent attacks by Iranian-backed Houthi fighters. You may want to check your refrigerator. Thousands of pounds of ground beef products have been recalled due to a risk of E. coli. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the nearly 7,000 pounds of ground beef products were, re were produced by Valley Meats on December 22nd. The packaging has the establishment number of EST 5712 printed on the USDA marks of inspection. The affected products were shipped to Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, and Michigan. The USDA says the E. coli contamination was discovered via routine testing. The agency says they have not received any reports of illness, but they do believe the products are still in freezers and refrigerators. Consumers are being urged to either throw away the product or return it to the store. It appears more and more people are canceling their streaming services. That has forced companies like Hulu, Netflix, and other streamers to bundle their products or offer discounts or even run ads to keep their businesses profitable. About 25% of subscribers have canceled at least three of the most popular streaming services in the past two years. That figure stood at just 15% two years ago. New research shows customer defections rose to 6.3% in November. That's a 1.2% jump from November of 2022. Well, it's 2024, which means senior citizens will now be seeing an increase to their Social Security benefits. The Social Security Administration announced earlier this fall that recipients will receive an annual cost of living adjustment of 3.2% beginning this month. That comes out to an average of more than $50 per month. This is the third year in a row for a bump in payments as a result of inflation. However, it is a much smaller increase compared to the past two years. Feels like we've gotten used to mild temperatures throughout that month of December. I know. Not I was cooped up the past couple of days, and I yep. finally got outside yesterday, and yes, I felt it. I was Absolutely. like, okay, we need the scarves, we need the boots, we need the jacket, obviously. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're up for it, everyone. Mm -hmm. Let's get the latest from Greg. Yeah, we definitely have some more colder temperatures and better shot of snow, especially going into next week. But still this week, we're going to be in the 30s for the most part, which is above average, but colder than we've had for most of December, really. Average high is in the middle of the 20s, which the good news is if you don't like the cold, our average temperature bottoms out this month and we start coming back up by the end of the month and beginning of February too. We are going to get much colder next week. It could be teens, 20s for highs. It could be much colder too. It just depends on cloud cover and one goes on with the system that's approaching by that point. We could have some precipitation, maybe some flurries, light freezing mist tonight. We have a cold front that's coming through late tonight through tomorrow. Won't amount to much, but still any type of light freezing mist can cause some issues. Light snow maybe Friday through Sunday. That's just on and off and very light. No really significant accumulation with that. And then attention does turn to Monday, Tuesday event, which could continue all the way through next week too, Thursday and Friday. But for tonight, as you wake up tomorrow morning, upper 20s near 30s temperatures won't really drop off that much. A few flurries, a few maybe pockets of freezing mist up towards Ladysmith. That area will then creep further south towards Eau Claire by the morning hours and by late morning, probably at least through La Crosse. And as we get into the afternoon hours, a lot of this literally light flurries or light freezing mist will turn more to snow showers. Uh, as we go in the afternoon, but notice the temperatures really don't climb. They'll be hovering around freezing during the afternoon hours with plenty of cloud cover in that north wind. And then we'll start seeing a decreasing trend towards Wednesday evening and then potentially more clearing skies as we go towards Wednesday night into Thursday too. So if you're out and about tomorrow, once again, it could be a really fine flurries, maybe some light mist. And once again, temperatures will be around freezing. So something to keep in mind of best shot for sunshine will be Thursday. And then we're watching the next front that comes through this weekend. That's going to kind of stall out as it gets further close to our area. And that could provide an opportunity for some snow as we go to Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And then it's going to stall out. And then the next system that we're watching, the bigger storm is going to ride lift northeast and right now the track of the potential for heavier snow still keeps a better shot to the south as we go into Monday, Tuesday, and it lifts out. 
but that track could then change as you kind of time this out and look at it right now. That track could go a little bit further north, but for right now, we're still thinking that we're going to be a long period of light snow for this time period. Breezy conditions more likely, possibly still windy if the track does change or mixed precip, but that's probably better further southeast and least likely this track doesn't look like it's going to switch all the way to the left or go north of west of us, which would be more rain. That doesn't look likely. So once again, we'll keep an eye on this. More details will get closer, but still, if you got travel plans, something to keep in mind of. For tonight, upper 20s near 30, some flurries up to the north or some freezing mist as we go. Tomorrow, a lot of areas will see some flurry activity, maybe a snow shower in the afternoon, right around freezing, with maybe a little pockets of freezing mist too to go along with it. Otherwise, fairly quiet conditions as we go through Thursday and Friday, with maybe some snow chances Saturday or Sunday, and then we just start keeping an eye on Monday afternoon through Wednesday, depending on that track of that system, which if you do have travel plans, especially south and east of the area, definitely keep that in mind through Monday, Tuesday, even if we don't get the main mm -hmm. impact from it. For sure. All right, Tommy mm -hmm. Lee Jones, Men in Black. <laughs> <laughs> Checked out. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Coming up next in sports, the Badgers are back on the hardwood for some Big Ten action tonight, plus a few of our area high school squads continuing conference play in the MVC. Hilltoppers hoping to keep that perfect conference record intact. Rob is up next. The Board Store Home Improvements family wishes you a happy new year. Visit soon to plan your 2024 home improvement project. It's never too early to dream. Save every day with Perks Prices at Hy-Vee. Hy-Vee Shredded Cheese, H. Perks Price, $1.99. Chiquita Bananas, H. Perks Price, 39 cents a pound. And Mrs. Grimes Beans, H. Perks Price, only 99 cents. Sign up for Hy-Vee Perks today. At Union State Bank, we provide quality products and services to help make your banking easier. When it comes to your money, you want a bank you can rely on. As you grow, so will your financial goals. It's important to have a partner who listens and responds with honest recommendations you can trust. Our team is not only committed to serving the families and businesses in our community, we are also from the community. We're here for you, and we welcome you to bank with us. Union State Bank, where customers and community come first. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. At Overhead Door Company, we repair any garage door and only install the best. Serving up to 100 miles outside of the Onalaska, Wisconsin area. When you need a door company you can trust with your life, call Overhead Door Company of the Seven Rivers region. Buy a sausage biscuit, sausage McMuffin, or sausage McGriddles and get one for one dollar. High V hot deals are burning hot. Lean cuisine or Stouffer's entrees, a dollar ninety-nine. A one-pound pack of basket and bushel strawberries, two ninety-nine. And Cottonelle bath tissue or Viva paper towels, four ninety-nine. Only at High V. Covering all of the exciting action from your community. Here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. The holiday season has finally come to an end. Now the focus is back on the hardwood. High school teams all throughout the Cooley region are gearing back up now as conference play continues to heat up. And we have a couple of good ones tonight in the MVC. The Onalaska boys basketball team has won its first two conference matchups of the year. Hilltoppers are 6-3 and three overall. And they'll be at home tonight playing host to Sparta. The Spartans are three and six on the season. They're still looking for that first conference win of the year. The same two programs meeting on the girls' side as well tonight. That one taking place over in Sparta. Let's take a look at what else we got going on tonight on the hardwood. Staying in the MVC, the Holman girls will play host to Toma as conference play continues there. Also got a doubleheader over in Bangor. Both the girls and boys basketball teams will be on their home floor playing host to Blair Taylor. And over in Galesville, the GET boys will look to rebound after last week's loss to Aquinas. Red Hawks are at home playing host to Mauston. On the college hardwood tonight, the Badgers are back on the court. From here on out, it's Big Ten play every time Wisconsin takes the floor. Badgers technically opened up conference play earlier this season when they took care of Michigan State. But tonight, the Hawkeyes 
are on the schedule. Badgers took down Chicago State at home back on December 22nd. So we'll see if Wisconsin can start 2024 with a win over rival Iowa. Those highlights coming up tonight at 10. And for the Packers, it all comes down to Sunday afternoon against their biggest rival, win and get in. It's that simple for Green Bay. Packers getting a dominant win on New Year's Eve over their other rival, Minnesota. A 33-10 victory on Sunday night. Jordan Love with another impressive performance. Four total touchdowns, three in the air, one on the ground. Packers get their eighth win of the season. And now it comes down to week 18, just like it did last year. But Green Bay hoping for a different result this go around. When it comes to this specific rivalry against the Bears, it's been pretty one-sided in recent history. And a former Packer great had some things to say about that rivalry this afternoon. This is their Super Bowl. It's been, we've won, uh, what have we won? Matt's never lost to them, I don't think. It's like nine in a row. Is it a rivalry anymore? Oh, geez. How fair question. You? It's a fair Jeez. question. If they can't beat us, is it a rivalry? It's a good question. That's a good question. I mean, how do you feel about him using the, the words we and us? <laughs> I like him. He's the best Packer of all time. I think he can get away with it. I think so, too. I, I think I thought about it yesterday as you're currently a Jet, but as soon as you're done playing, you're back yeah. to being a Packer. Yeah. That's how I take yeah. it. He's I mean, still he recovering, most, right? He's still, still recuperating. He's not going to play this year. No, mm -hmm. it's over for him. It's over. Oh, no. <laughs> it's next year. Oh, I'm, that's I'm, it. In a way, next year. In a way I'm, I'm, I'm wondering how many Packers fans feel like, I mean, if they finish in third place, mm. it's, 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 it's Jets at Packers. Next That's year. right. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I think most Packer fans want them to get in, though. Yeah, I yeah. think so. All right. <laughs> Thanks, okay. Rob. Yeah, All right. Good. More news after this. Stories are told on our Instagram at WKBT News 8. Or you can always find us at news8000.com. Motors has been family owned and operated since 1920 and have you to thank for our continued success. Stop by our dealership in West Salem or La Crosse to find the Ram you're looking for. Get in a Ram 1500 Laramie or Bighorn today. We've got great deals on new Rams right now. When you find the perfect truck, you'll feel it. Start your search at Pishki.com and then drive away in your new Ram. Hey, Dominic here to ask, do you love salt but need to cut back on all that sodium? Mini Mini Salt by Pleasening is the answer and is recommended by doctors and dietitians for those on low sodium diets. It tastes like regular salt but with so much less sodium. Use it just like your table salt. Great on corn on the cob, tomatoes, watermelon, and yeah, you can even use it on french fries and everything else you love to salt. Be sure to get your Mini Mini Salt by Pleasening and 40 other blends at the Pleasening Outlet Store on Ward Avenue, La Crosse. Get out of here. All right, a few flurries, maybe a little freezing mist tomorrow. Something to keep in mind of. Otherwise, all attention then turns to next week. Potential winter storm. Maybe. Ooh, winter storm. Coming through. Looking Thanks for joining us at <laughs> 6, right, everybody. We'll see you at 10.